Well, hello everyone. I'm George Martorano, and welcome to the Fourth World Prison segment. Okay, now the holidays are over, and uh, a lot of people uh, that have been following the series wanted me to get back to the nitty gritty. Nitty gritty is basically uh, what we were talking about the solitary years, which were five. Five years I did in the box. And now today we're going to talk about something uh, uh, prisoners know, they're, they're about the only ones that do know. It's called the Black Rain. Now, what is Black Rain? Uh, just like in homes and businesses, prisons have sprinkler systems for fires, and they're actually in your cells, and they have this uh, valve, and it's above uh, your basically above your toilet or the sink or some corner in the room. Okay, now. If a uh, fire occurs, okay, naturally the sprinkler system goes off. But uh, that water is much different. They have a solution in it. They have an oil solution mixed with the water. So uh, a lot of people know about, don't know about the uh, infamous penitentiary Lewisburg. Lewisburg has been around for many, many years out in uh, Pennsylvania, okay, a few hours from Philadelphia. And, uh, and New York, and uh, they have uh, some cells there, themselves there, they're called the submarine. They're basically in the basement, uh, they got this thick black wired mash, I think there's three cells if I recollect, and uh, when you put down there, you can, they can't even see you through the mash. You have your food slot natural, naturally, but they're, they're called the submarines, and I was in there more than once. Just so happens uh, an individual, like I said, there's three uh, <clears throat> locked down uh, holes, these cells, and this individual decides to do something with this sprinkler valve. What he did, I don't know if he banged it with the boot, hung on it, whatever. Well, anyway, uh, the sprinklers went off. Now this water comes pouring out, pouring out, and it's got this solution in it, like I said, this black oil solution with this cold water and it gets everywhere it gets everywhere on your bunk whatever food you have a little bit of clothes you have a clean towel which clean towels are you know you want one at least one in the hole and this water comes pouring out and it comes pouring out and you're there and and they do not rush to turn it off especially if it's the middle of the night they do not rush it off so, ladies and gentlemen, imagine me in the cell with this water, black, oily water, pouring out hour after hour after hour. First, you try to cover yourself, whatever kind of cover. You even go under the bunk. doesn't work because the water starts rising, and you're there. You're there so much so that, you know what, you stand up in the middle of it, and... You better accept it. You better accept it or, you know, you'll snap. And it happened to me more than once. And basically what I would do, uh, I remember the second time it happened, I just stripped down, stripped down, and uh, I paced. And your body becomes basically a tarred. As you become black, your hair matted. And the only sense of it, the only sense of it is when the, if you can look at this tin thing in the mirror and wipe it and look at yourself. Look at yourself and force a smile. That's all you can do. Force a smile or lose your mind. Thank you. Another segment of the fourth world.